So I have this geological map which is located in California. So what I'm looking to do is to get this image inside of Google Earth Pro directly without using a GIS software. So to do so, we are going to use the overlay option of Google Earth Pro. So before starting, we need to add some coordinates, those four corners. So we are going to start by adding this first point inside of Google Earth Pro. We are going to use those points in order to georeference manually our image. So I'm going to add this first point with this coordinates. This is the this is the longitude and latitude according to Universe Transverse Mercator coordinate system. So I will start by adding the first point by clicking on this button here. I will start to input my latitude and my longitude. So make sure that you are located in the right position. Like for my case, my latitude is located in the north hemisphere and my longitude is in the west. So here I name it my first point with my latitude and my longitude to make it easy to locate. Then I will click on OK. So as you can see here, I got my first point located here in California. So this is the first corner of my map. I'm going to use this point to to reference this image so i will do the same for this second point and for the other two remaining points after adding the four points with the coordinates of the four corners of, of my map I'm going to add my geological map as an overlay to do so head over to this button add image overlay and click here in order to import it navigate to your folder click on your map and then click on open you can here for example change the transparency of your image change the size you can change it just by click and, and drag those green borders but what I'm looking to do is to get this corner into this point. Head over to here location and click on convert to lat long. And now you can play around with these corners without any distortion for the image. So let's start for example with this first corner. We are going to set a point here and we will do the same for the other points. So this is not an accurate georeferencing, this is just to give you an idea where the map is located and where the different for geological formations are located. So I think that this is good enough and then click on OK. So now you have a georeferenced geological map, you can analyze your geological formations, you can also right click on your map, go to properties and then increase the transparency in order to better analyze your your study area so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you got some value from it if so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more of this kind of tutorials